everybody celebrating by real nice out here man I see some man that stove down there they're cooking all right nice nice a lot of food got a cool eye though doing the thing there what's going on buddy what's up what's up all right then yeah, folks gotta stow a little table there man Beautiful Georgetown, Guyana. Beautiful day here. It rained a little, but the sunshine is right back out. As you can see up there. And once you see me at the gas station here, I fuel it up. And I got a motor in the tray there. We going on the water. Somewhere we going. Alright. We going up fish. Well, we gonna test out this engine um, it had some mechanical problems so we got it fixed and now we're gonna give it a test run but in the meantime we're doing that I walk with the rod me and my buy fish bro we're gonna check see if you can get two fish in the conservancy canal you don't know, canal number one canal number two on the west bank you have the conservancy that runs all the way to Parika five door but we're heading down there all right hope you guys are being positive you're being safe I know all the holidays are over. It's early January now. And there, we're back to our normal day to day life. As I'm about to leave, my man, he tell me he'll be watching the channel, man. What's your name, man? John. John. John Kino Kunat. Kunat. And you say you're from where? Can I have grandparents? So we can have. All right. You want to shout out anybody? No. Happy New Year's to you, right? Yeah, yeah. Thank you for watching, man. Yeah. Cool, nobody. So I got a fan here, you know, man. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Let me continue the fun. This is the mighty Demirara River during low tides. Before there used to be a lot of bushes on the bank here, man. Now you see some development going on, you know. Diana developing rapidly, you know. Rapidly. This is the part that retracts to allow the ships to pass by. Alright? This piece that I go up on top here, it retracts. So the ships actually pass through these these piles here. Maybe it's a guide. That's the channel there right now. All right, directly in the middle here is a channel where the ships pass. Right? So this part that I'm driving on, it slides. If you if you look to the left there, you see the tracks. Okay. It slides back this way, it slides this side. Beautiful, beautiful Demerara River, man. You can see a lot of construction work here. This is the Parfait Harmony Main Access Road. And you can see some construction going on here. Well, I saw in the news that they're building a highway from the Harbor Bridge. You know, to the west side, maybe to Puerto So this here is um, where the where the highway is gonna um, pass through the Barfield Harmony area here. Not sure how far it's gonna go. It's all the way to Puerto but um, you know they're trying to avoid freedom Hoop. They always got a lot of traffic by the junction there. So I guess it's gonna take you somewhere on the west side. I hope it goes all the way to Barica because we need a second access road. We need more highways in Guyana. Driving through Parfit Harmony here. So from the scheme here it has it has a main road. That you can turn and get on to canal number one. We had to cross a bridge. Alright. I think it's this, I think it's Ford 
street or Fourth Avenue. It's this Fourth Avenue here. Independence, yeah, Independence Drive. This is the road here. Fresh Prince Seven the station. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the station there. So. Get a little market. You know, kind of thing going on here. Both sides. Yeah. Look over there, there boy. You got a housing project. You got a police station over here. Perfect time on the police station. And look at all these, you know, the two bedroom houses. I guess yeah, the two bedroom. If it's a government project, yeah, people live in them too. Why? One of them. If me not been come, me not been know. Barfit, how many nice for so? Oh, look, fish for over here, man. The man by the Chinese picking up supplies. <laughs> man, he has a fried chicken, ah. What guy now, why? Nah, nah. No banks beer this time around. Alright, what are you doing? Alright? Yeah, buddy. When the fish is your fishing, boy. This man getting some things there, boy. Alright, alright. Hi there, buddy. Hi there. Morning, morning. Morning. Happy New Year's again, boy. You, when you're fishing, you're fishing, boy. Nice. When you go over the bridge. Make a left, it takes you back to the West Bank of the Moraro. This is number one canal. This, this is what you call a canal. Alright. driving man some of you guys will see our house that's a drive by and canal here and this is number one canal you also have number two canal Sunday morning. You know, we ain't got nothing much to do today. So we decide to go and try out the engine, make sure the engine was properly repaired or fixed. video with canal number one you can check it out sometime back about two years back me and the bike guru supermarket or a moving market a mobile market see that man selling a lot of things there man greens vegetable grocery maybe so you know i'll give you a little look of what canal looks like right now you know the development you might have lived here i haven't been back here in a long time but at least you get a 
take off our sand look, our current look of what's going on here right now in Canal Number One. Pull up. It's another moving supermarket. Nah, the man has got music. He probably do making an announcement, a public announcement. That this is the moving supermarket where all the grocery and thing. This guy here, see? You see all different household stuff in here, man. So you know, you don't have to go to the market, the market comes to you. These folks go to church, man. Very nice on a Sunday morning. You know, while some of us go fishing, some people go to church. Some people going to visit their relatives. You know, some people got a nakating. Some going to the creek. You know, all different activities, man. We doing. We still in the party mode, you know. So you know, some people will go by the creek and wash down today. Some would have gone yesterday to wash down, you know. Well, you know, like wash down means like you know, like after party, like man, after all the celebrations. Christmas and New Year then now you're gonna do a final thing you know a little wash down so these green and white this yellow and white things is uh, we call them Drumpel I think or Rumble in um, Suriname I remember Suriname right away man big up to all the folks in Suriname the man when I travel to when I drive to Suriname we always pass these bumps I think it's Drumpel you call it though, but one is Drumpel and one is Rumble. <laughs> I don't know the pronunciation correct, but um, based on the spelling. One is like a scrubbing board and the other one is a, is a bump. When you're approaching the um, thorns, you gotta slow down. I think Guyana should make that as well. I would have mentioned that in one of my previous videos. If you copy from Suriname and do that, around every turn, you put these Drumpel, this scrubbing board kind of thing. So you have to slow down, drivers have to slow down. And every once in a while you have these humps. Or um, whatever you call it in Dutch, they drumpel or rumble. Here in Canal, man. I hope you all see y'all house. This road now finished, but us. We've been driving for 10 minutes now. I recorded so 10 minutes now driving on this road, and I ain't reached the bottom yet. And I did not start driving from the beginning of Canal, I started from the bridge that takes you into Barfield Harmony Scheme. there yet I hope so Susi. Okay. This has a name like in Awakenam. Yes, the Awakenam there is a place by the name of San Susi as well. What do we have here, You have a big gate, see? Oh, it's a nice house, man. American style, Florida style, like. Beautiful, beautiful. Looks like I see in the light at the end of the tunnel here. We are almost reaching up here. Other video to show a pineapple farmer. If you look for my video, canal number one, Pola, you will see I show you guys how um, pineapple grow. You know, a little, a little introduction of how it, how it's grown. You know, not full details, but uh, you know, pineapple farm. I would say a little highlight, not a detail 
contour of the pineapple growing or farming. But like that, I saw the light at the end of the tunnel, but like I didn't see right. All these trailers that he wrote can here with his fit with his transport they came with. Uh, a lot of farmers, a lot of folks in canal here they, they plant cane and then they sell I guess I don't know if it's guys who could sell it so we have good hope down here but I think they should really make the road from number one canal to number two canal by the conservancy this guy selling some fish that we don't sell money, finish selling, fish finish. If the road is not made as yet, I think I should make a road there so people don't have to drive all the way back to the West Bank and then go in back to Canal Number One. If we want to go to Canal Number Two now, we should be able to have a road that takes us from Number One to Number Two. So finally, we reach the light at the end of the tunnel. Are we seeing the light at the end of the tunnel there right now? This is another supermarket team. Moving supermarket. It took me 14 minutes to get here. At reasonable speed. Fish boat trying to get some um, beats, live beats, you know. We're gonna try the live beats. Wow, they look high here, buddy. But you know, we are here more likely to test out the engine, not the um, not fishing. But as we come on the trip, we're gonna fish a little. All right. No. Oh. Pine King by yeah yeah I see the name for the truck there. <laughs> What's that like a nobody? Yeah, nice good truck up on the road. Road there, yeah, yeah. You on there, nice yeah. man, nice, I'll nice. Let uh, me see you got uh, this is the farmer here right there? Yeah, see you. Yeah man, I'm good to see you again man. Yeah, good nobody watch. This fresh out of the Where are you? Canal? Yeah, number one. Number one canal boy. Mm-hmm. So we gotta make a new tune now. Canal by pineapple, it's sweet like a hell. Right? Alright. Can I say canal girl planting chunky? So now we are saying canal by pineapple sweet. <laughs> Good to see you, man. And this is how you get the pineapple out of the boat. Oh, you, gotta get, you, you have to have a special set of skills actually to do this, what the man is doing here right now. Nice. Alright, so. This thing take you all the way to Bonasica and by Sidas Parika back down. And you got a lot of houses. This is what I'm talking about. If they build this road here and you build it the other side. Right? This one side here. Build from here to go all the way to canal number two. Number two canal is down that side, down south. My partner gave me some pineapple here, man. I want to thanks a lot to the man Pine King. Now the man show a different species by look at this. This doesn't come with the with the top here. Like how this one have this you know leaves or whatever you call this thing at the top here, or the pine head. This one is headless. Now I call them bunda head. Nice, nice. And this is a nice food here, boy. Can't get better than that, boy. Look at this, boy. Hey, thank you, buddy. All right. I'm the fish, bro. Blows over. This engine will start first. Pull by. You joke? You know. It's a first one. Hi. You can start, you can start. Another 200 times, the pull, you can start. Hi. Moto, man. Moto. What are you talking about? Have you seen? Old fashioned or? This engine didn't have pulling power. So we try not to see now if. Get them pulling power. The mechanics are the um, 
the fuel pump has to change. Same problem. No power. No power. So the mechanic tell me the engine must start again. Now this engine, you're revving out, you're burning out the gas, and you're not getting power. So mechanic say fix it. But you fix it. We still have the same problem. And this is the second time. There's two different mechanic fix it in Guyana here. And I can't seem to find the problem. But this is all the speed we got right now. So we can fish anywhere else except for uh, four, four door, right? Five door? Yeah, yeah, well, we can fish all around here and yeah, just yeah. enjoy the day because we don't know what for the engine. This can reach five door because you can burn the gas. Yeah, well, we can have fish drum. Yeah. You can have a fishing drum, alright, good. But in the meantime, I'll show you guys what's going on. You know, for the bank here. People living for the, the bank here. And life couldn't get any better than this, boy. Chicken, curry, and provision <laughs> can't get better than that. Thanks to the girl, Andrea. Our first lady. You can borrow this my engine, you know. They go for the run. Yeah. If anyone of you guys can advise me what to do to fix this engine, we're not getting power. It's a 50 Yamaha 2006 model, I think. I don't know, 06 or 04 model. Alright? I think it's 06. If you know what I have to do to get power, please let me know. If it's a spark plug or just tell me what what we need to do. I already spent about $300 US to fix this engine. But we ain't getting, we ain't getting no way. Alright, so we're calling a friend to borrow an engine there right now. Alright, so let me continue the fun. Now we're gonna do some board watching. Hi, Scarlet Ibis. Oh, that's, that's a snowy egret. Scarlet Ibis had a red one. These are, I, I, I like this one, great egret. It's a neck long. I learned that from the Bailean Moore, the long neck one is great egret. And the short neck one is snowy egret. The red one is Scarlet Ibis. So right now we're bored watching Leon Moore while you in. And I right now, you're a lovely wife and my man Philip. Philip, Jamaican Philip man. Philip Vlogs, MD. The man in um, Anna there right now doing some uh, in the Rubruni, doing some vlogs, you know. Both of them fellas are guys, these YouTubers. First time for me in this conservancy here. And this is learning something new. And I'm bringing you guys someplace new. Ministry of Agriculture. There's a ministry of agriculture project here, you know? Maintaining the... Um, look at that one! Alright. Maintaining the... Uh, regulating the water. There's a big mango tree here, boy. Oh, so there's only one way you can turn. This way. Fish for trying to get a look at any or a rear part for OT. Now you have a little bridge over there. Not sure which back down we are here right now. But we somewhere on the west coast, the west side. We're not gonna go too far because the rain coming, actually the rain drizzling right now. And looks like we're gonna get wet. Might be a wet day for us and we're not prepared. Uh, really, as I said earlier, we come test out the engine. This is how, how water gets. When the rice farmer need water, they come and they take out these boards, and the water from the conservancy goes into the main canal there, and it goes all the way down to the rice farmers or cash crop farmers. All right, that's how they regulate the water from the conservancy here. They show peeling up in there. Uh huh. Are you up to it? Life can't get better than that way. Fresh out of the farm, out of the canal. What we do with the rainfish, bro? You want me to bring the boat a dam and turn over the boat and hide underneath? 
<laughs> Todo muy de vato. <laughs> all right, all right. The rain, the rain running coming down the end there, boy. The rain coming with speed. But nonetheless, when you're hiding, you're hiding. When it raining, it raining. Look <laughs> at my Ryan. Ryan hiding for the rain too. Right, you got a big man. What's she there with? The coca. So we can go hide up here actually. From the rain. We fishing in what? Are we don't care what the weatherman say? Uh huh. We fishing in sun and rain and we don't care what the weatherman say. Beautiful, just beautiful. Look at the rain falling. I know many of you guys in North America and Europe. Would love to be in this rain right now. Ryan, come with the rain, boy. Or you like the rain? I know you guys are gonna love to be here right now. In this rain, to walk in this rain. Because it's cold over there, you know, snow. Look at the rain falling there, boy. You get a little shelter from the mango tree, fair enough. But not enough to um, keep you warm. <laughs> it can't keep us warm, but you know, we get in a little bit of shelter. Are we thankful? You got an old saying, rain does fall twice in bush. That's true. The coming the rain stop, stop falling, the branches, the leaves, still keep dripping raindrops on you. Hey, fun time. My man fish for catching some bait there right now. We're gonna fish momentarily. Ryan and fish for going in. Fish in the rain there, boy. So who say you can't fish in sun and rain? We fishing in sun and rain and we don't care what Alvoca say. Alright. This is Mango Bring out sun, fish and parts, what anything. Mikey choose the right day not to come fishing by. Well, Mikey would have gotten some more experience, you know, with the rainy weather. Ah, she now want no big van man. She now want no. AD wagon, she looking for a fishing boat man. She looking for a fisherman. I hear what she tell me. She said all this time she with the wrong man. Boy now she looking for a fisherman. Cause she now want no big van man. And she now want no AD wagon. She looking for a fishing boat man. She looking for a Fisherman. All right, so we're getting cold right now. We're feeling cold. Look, I'm feeling cold. I want the sunshine to warm up my soul. Miss Lynch, look, I'm feeling cold. I want you here to warm up my soul. Warm up my soul, darling. Warm up my soul, Miss Lynch. Look I feel in cool. I want you here to warm up me soul. Big tune, big tune. Alright, we gotta do something, you know. The rain falling. We gotta do something. Them boys ain't getting no bite there yet. But they're fishing. Fish forgot a fish there, watch. What do you call it? Uh, is that, is that mullet? mullet? Something like mullet, man. Nice, nice. I used another to catch a lock and So we're trying to use that as a life bait now to catch a lock and honey. He used a shrimp to catch that fish and now using that fish to try to catch a lock and honey. We're trying. Fish by fish on the line already. Sunfish. Sunfish we got it. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> this is what you call a sunfish. Huh? I'll show you how you swim. This is your swim there. See that? Taking a dip in the boat. Rainfall and full up the boat with water. Nice. Where the bait there, Ryan? Mm -hmm. So this man gets a sunfish there so far. We're using the shrimp bait. Alright, you get some more, don't worry. Making our way back to number one canal. And we're passing by the agriculture place here, the Ministry of Agriculture. 
and then the fin I lived up there. No, no, we could. And the man, they said they live in, they said they move in the floating cabin. Nobody live in here, man. Nobody walk in with the um, agriculture ministry. They see the man, everything there. Nice, nice. Here you have electricity going back all the way to canal number one. This is awesome, really appreciate it. But if the authority can make a road, you know, understand bridging this folks, you know, the man buy a little car and thing, you know, you want to drive in or ride any motorbike, so you know. So it'd be nice in years to come if they could build a road here and to, to you know accommodate these guys, man. This place looks so amazing. So, so, so amazing. Wow, beautiful as can be. And as you go farther up that side, you get canal number two. And this same creek can take you all the way to um, Santa Aratak. Them fellas told me that. In Santa Aratak there. Back to where we where we started out. Yeah, my brother. <laughs> Back to where it all started. <laughs> we got two fish today, but we had a lot of fun. We got some nice curry. Andrea made some nice curry. And rice and provision. Okay. And I like this city, this landing dock. This is amazing. This is nice that they have a landing dock here. Now, I have the Lakanani because you know that we caught today, right? We caught this little sunfish. Yeah. But we can really see. Nice. Uh, you know, we can going to cook one fish. And I smile too. <laughs> All right, so time to take out the boat out of the water and head back home. What are we going to do later today, boy? Let me go to the for market and buy two fish. No? <laughs> I'll park the market, boy. Today is Sunday, I'll park the market, right? Making my way back out of canal number one. All right. I'm going to show you guys from the bridge out to the main road so you will get to see the entire canal those of you who miss your house from the beginning i'm going to show you at the end of the video here now all right let me continue the journey we passing the bridge that's the bridge right there fish broke on Fishbro lives in that scheme. Now I gotta make my way back to Georgetown. So this is the part of the canal number one I didn't show you earlier. So I'm gonna show you this part here now, okay? Let's go now to the road side, the road front. This bridge can take you into the scheme as well. So this is what canal looks like Sunday afternoon.
fish. We probably caught fish for caught two fish. <laughs> Ryan ain't got nothing. I didn't fish. I took my rod and I brought it back home without even wetting it. The little rainfall I wet it. But I knew we weren't gonna get a lot of fish because of the weather, so um, I decided not to fish. I record, I was a cameraman today. So those of you who always hear about Canal and the girl Queen Yasmin sing a song, you know, I wanna, if Queen Yasmin could explain what she meant when she sing that song. Canal girl planting chunky like a hell. Queen Yasmin, if you ever see this video, please comment and say why. What is the meaning for that song? Because I danced on that song as a, as a boy. You know, listen to it growing up. I never knew what it meant. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, the girl in chunky planting, they could cook, cook real good, nice food. Because we had a dish in Guyana named Chunky. Chunky, um, you know, like Pile and Fry, we call it Chunky. I'm not sure where it is though. Chicken foot, also known as salsio or seo, sugar cake fudge, you know, different things, you know, selling by the road car now. People, you know, have a little business. Here and the other village going back to the other side of the back south is Bagotville. Street Lagrange. Uh, the West Bank Road, somewhat busy, man. 
arch we just passed there was established by His Excellency President David Granger. There are two of them, this one here and there are one at um, Industry. It's to mark the beginning of Georgetown. Now we're in McDoom Village. flashing red light it means you slow down your watch and then you go right yes okay you got a little cross in this guy here with them big trucks coming across from the wharf to Gafour at the back in back you know creating some traffic jam I like in America they would have had an overpass you would have been driving in in the air and the big trucks pass and up Houston Village now. We got some nice fancy house for this one. Say hey man. I think the Rahman Rahman Park. So to the left there, that's Rahman's Park. Probably the area named Rahman's Park. Yeah, the banks there, yeah, it's scheme how the scheme at the back here. The yards, the yard um, park. And my friend Gary, why right? Gary? The Jesus living in that park there. So Jata Quarry powder, you make the food taste sweeter, why right? look at that. <laughs> you got a sari. Special madras in the curry powder with the elephant on the pocket, but everything that's make food taste sweet, you know. <laughs> you want sand to buy, you come on this road here. See a man there with the truck selling sand there. That's where this sand truck is being sold. Yeah. That's how close you get to a horse. And the man obeying the traffic sign, too, you know. Look at that. <laughs> he walking in lane. <laughs> Nice, nice. The horse is walking in, in, in the lane, in the right lane. Very obedient. You know, maybe I should give you guys a little tour of the seawall. Let me go on the seawall, see what's going on there. If anybody fishing on the seawall. Alright? So this is the back road or Mandela Avenue. I think this is it. This is Mandela Avenue. I'm hoping. Guys, you know, we used to always drive on Carl Haley back road, but I think they call it Mandela Avenue too as well. I gotta work with the signs now because we grew up knowing it to be the back road. Once you say back road, everybody know what you're talking about. Jan Finance back road or you know south from Velt. Take you guys to the seawall to show y'all the beach. Here comes the rain. I'm on Vizinjin Road heading north, and the rain drizzling. Are. If it's a little tired or high tide, if nobody's fishing, I don't know. Once you see a blinking yellow light, you proceed with caution. Alright? Alright, so go in. I still believe we can set up a boardwalk over the Atlantic near man.
still in a part of you know 500 feet out in the Atlantic backfill it you know set up a few hotels restaurants you know regularize the place it's a tourist destination it's gonna become people would love to wake up on the beach to watch that morning sunrise and you know watch the evening sunset fish on the pier you know do, do a thing or two you know sure like like South Beach man in Miami I love South Beach I love the fact you have all the hotels all the bars everything right on the beach well am I breaking down the um, police place here man you used to come get your uh, passport police clearance you want to travel and thing or a job you get a police clearance right over here so they're, doing, they're rebuilding this building here man that's nice Demolish it and they are rebuilding it. You know, they see you all getting, getting there bit by bit, you know, getting nicer and nicer, but slowly, very slowly, you know. They gotta make the road and thing and nice up. And I wanna believe there, there are washrooms at the end here now, which is nice. I wanna say thanks to the people that are responsible. I think we have some washrooms here. I guess somebody listened to ARD or maybe they had it in plans you never know but we need some more washroom way east of the bandstand so the other folks on that side you know rather than driving come all the way here this looks like washroom rather than driving all the way here for washroom or walk all the way here you know set up some more washrooms at the eastern side there man and then one midway so you have different areas you have washroom come on the beach crowded man it's hard to come all the way down here and then sometimes on the weekend you can't drive up here the police have roadblocks they're not allowing you but look how beautiful they're doing this place man i really like it man progress progress you gotta beautify george somewhere good things happening for george Song. Guyana happening slowly, more can be done. But you know, it is what it is. I'm gonna take you all out on the beach to show you what's going on there. Is there any fishermen or any fishing going on? I'm not sure. But there gotta be fishermen on the beach. Wow, a lot of patrons on the beach. Cricket and so. Nice, nice. We have a cricket match going on there right now. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Wow. That fellas had a cricket match somewhere, man. Not a common day, um, here. And then it's off here, man. And then it's off the game now. Now, a lot of folks picnicking out here, man. This is nice football, volleyball, and thing. But look what's going on out here by erosion. I've been, I've been singing a song for how many videos now? The seawall is eroding. Erosion is evident. Come on guys, we gotta do something about this. Let us not wait until it's broken to fix it, man. Can't let me do something now. So we have fishermen out here. We have some kids taking a dip in the water, that's away. Candy man, yes. It's really, really bad, man. Wow. You got an F4, or a four wheel drive vehicle here to drive through. Holy macro! My entire truck is. 
full of mud now, man. Damn. Just washed my truck two days ago and look, mud all over. All because I want to come on the beach to show you all. Hi. <laughs> wow. Looks so beautiful here. Somewhere across there, or maybe that side, that's where they're going to have the shore base. The island that they're creating in the um, river here. Yes, they're creating an island where they're going to build the shore base, um, oil and gas um, stuff, right? Somewhere at the front here. Not sure. I saw, I saw it in the newspaper or um, electronic media. Marriott, Pegasus. And we got a lot of fishing folks here, man, on the seawall. And look at the condition of my truck. I just drove in and all the mess and look. I hope they fix it. Hello. You guys catch anything? Okay. Oh, okay, now come the fish. All right. <laughs> all right, I'm pleased to meet you, my friend. Yeah, man, life can get better. The weather. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I stopped my girl by a fellow near. You guys are proof? No, actually, we never broke down the street. No, oh, nice, nice. Good man, good to see you, alright? Yeah, we're good, alright. We don't catch a little canal today? We went to fish, but we didn't get out in the rain too much. We went in canal, but the rain too much, we didn't get out. One or two? Number one. And then to the conservancy, but we didn't get out. It's not every day it's catching day. We can one sun fish only. <laughs> good to see you, man. Take care. Good. Wow, heavy wind because of the wind, you're gonna get bumpy waves here, man. As opposed to these guys going out to fish here by fishermen, they gotta go out and fish in this for days, for a week, and then they're gonna make their way back to shore. So, you know, I always say pay these guys for the fish when you're going to buy the fish because you don't know what these men that are brave the, the waves, the winds, you know, the tides, the current, just to put fish on the stands. You know, that's the true honest. <laughs> no, no. We, we went, no, we went and fished in the number one canal. I went and fished yeah. there. Oh. Can't even remember, eh? You went to the number one canal? Yeah. Oh, no, I'm not from there. I went and fished down there. Yeah. All right, all right. Good to see you, man. You know, you got some kids. Wow, this man got a fish there, boy. It's curry by ma green mango, and this is dinner, boy. <laughs> nice, nice. We got a coconut tree growing up here. That's nice. You have some kids. You have some kids. They can dip them out. This man got fish on the line, boy. Fish on the line. Let's see, it's like for us to get. It's like a quarry. We will not. Come through. Let me see where you got it. Sweet man, boy. No, 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 no. For us, boy. Nice, nice. I got a nice fish there, boy. Couple more like that with green mango. It's dinner. <laughs> how you doing? How you doing? Okay. Nice to meet you. Where you at? Yeah, we're for sure. You're coming one already. <laughs> yeah. Nice, nice. All right. Where, where you at from? Montrose. Montrose. Oh, my hometown. Yes. All right, all right. Good to see you. Yeah, man. Yeah, everybody. Yeah, hold on, hold on. How oh, much you want this thing? Four hundred. Four hundred. Give, give me two of them, man. Let me give them your kid. Give me kid. Yeah, green mango with that. <laughs> green mango and fish. Yeah. So we got a few more fellas uh, fishing there. Not sure what to catch. But they just come out to fish. I just saw them out. Wow, very windy out here. Very, very windy. That's why you got so much heavy waves, so high waves because of the wind. More and more boats are going on. Wow, look at them big ships that he, that he carted them. Nice. My skin is wet from the rain in the canal and the heavy wind now I'm shivering. <laughs> I'm shivering man. Yeah, beautiful man, beautiful scenery here. We as Guyanese must and should and have to enjoy nature, the beach. But 
of course we got to do something about all these you know plastic and the bottles and boxes you know floating around come on Guyanese come on bedroom and sistering please stop dumping your garbage in waterways please stop dumping garbage keep them in your car keep them in a plastic bag throw them in the bin throw them in the bin or take them home and you throw it in your bin come on and the authority should set up garbage bins you know across Guyana so that people could start learning to use the garbage bins rather than throwing them out the, the car window or throw it in the waterways we as Guyanese have to stop this practice man now this could have been so beautiful but look look at it right now whatever you put in this water it's gonna bring back to land it's, it's gonna regurgitate and bring it back to land all right now look around some fun here boy what's going on what's going on Good to see you, man. All right. Got a lot of folks up on the beach, man. Nice, nice. So I'm making my way back home. Boy, life couldn't get any better than this here, boy. Beautiful afternoon, man. It's almost six o'clock. You know, most of the folks they're leaving the beach right now, heading out. But definitely I had an awesome time. Definitely, definitely. Hello. Hey, hey, my friends, how you doing? Hello, nice. All right. Hello, Thank you. Wait, wait, how far are you guys from? Um, Linden. Linden. Wow. Thank you so much, man. All right. <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> you know, I got a lot of fans here, man. Let me, let me come out and reach y'all, man. What's up? What's up? Pleased to meet you, right? Pleased to meet you. Hey, my friend. What's up? Hey. I want to show all the time. You want to show all the time? Yeah. Are you from London? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Nice to meet you, all, man. Right? Are you, where are you guys from? Yeah, sir. Arstelin. Arstelin. All right. Pleased to meet you, man. All right? Would you want to see you? Yeah, I want to hear from, from, from me. Oh, well, I am here. And luckily, you're going to see me, right? <laughs> all right. You guys take care. Yes. Right, Pleased to meet you. Pleased to be having New Year's, man. So this is your family here. All these folks. Are you guys going back to Linden now? Yeah. Take a line around. Yeah. What part of Linden? Where's yeah. more? I got my partner in Blueberry Hill, man. You we? You we? You we? My fisherman partner. Nice, nice. Blueberry, yeah. Nice you guys take it easy, man. Pleasure meeting you, brother. All right, one love. Yeah. All right. Cool, man. Yeah. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure running into fans, man. Wow. All right, bye bye. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> yeah, yeah, take care, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Wow, look, folks are bathing in the river there, buddy. Yeah, buddy, what's up? Yeah, respect. What's up, man? One love, yeah. Look, folks, there, man. A lot of kids, you know. A lot of that kids, they're young boys, you know, teenagers. They might do the thing there, you know. Taking a little dip there. The vibes, the vibes continue here, boy. Music still playing there, everybody's celebrating by Real nice out here man I see some manga stove down there, they're cooking all right Nice, nice, a lot of food Got a cool eye though, doing the thing there What's going on everybody? What's up, what's up? Alright Them yeah, folks got a stove, a little table there man Alright, I'm doing alright. Nice to meet you. I'm visiting from Canada. Canada. I'm always visiting. 
at your uh, look at your sure. channel. Oh, yeah. ma'am, thank you so much. You want to say hello to anybody? Hi to my family in Canada. Canada. Last three weeks. Oh, nice. I this was here, Chico. I messaged you from Canada. Wow. The body yeah. shop guy. And I yeah, yeah, yeah. You did message me, man. Look, I'm running to you now. And I hear what I called, you remember that three weeks ago somebody called you? Yes. Then it was me. So I went back to Canada and come back. back. Yeah, so I said, we got to hook you up for you a week. like that? I'm a man. man. No, I bring myself a vehicle, man. Right. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, yeah, I see you. Oh, yeah, the truck is selling. Yeah, yeah, you see. Hold on, hold on. So if you all need a truck, this man got his truck right now with sell watch. 616-0115. So if you want to buy this truck here, it's a Ford F-150. And then we got some Lexus. You got some Lexus and thing? Yeah. Lovely, lovely. So this is the man for Chico. Chico. Chico from Canada. And you I want Vico? ARD man. ARD in the house, say buddy. See him all these years. I want to see this man. Well, now I come back, we got to go on a fishing trip. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. You are the so the yeah, world looking at that. Appreciate it, man. The appreciate it. Continue to do the good work, my brother. Yes. And stay blessed. You too, man. All right. Yeah, man. So, so nice to see you. Same here, same here. Nice to meet you guys, right? You. Life can't get better than this, eh? Oh, hello, hello, guys. So, yeah, look. My son. Oh, nice. From Canada. Canada. And you, you from Guyana? Guyana, you're. What going on? What going on? <laughs> Pleased to meet you. All right. Guyana, man. Well, what's up? What's up, man? Over here. Pleased to meet you, all right? Nice to meet you. Steph. Steph, how you doing, darling? Good. You're busy on TikTok there, right? <laughs> Couldn't get better than this, right? So Danny, how are we gonna um, how are we gonna link, brother? I had a fantastic day today. Hope you guys enjoy the day with me. I just leave the beach. A lot of music playing there right now, people are still partying. So hope you guys celebrated me. Hope you had fun. Hope you are being positive. I wanna thank you for the privilege of your time. Stay blessed, take care of you and each other. God bless you. Peace out, and I will see you on the next adventure.